What is up you guys and thank you so very much for stopping by and checking out this video. My name is Scott and as you guys saw in that in that intro video here, I am super excited to have you guys here and uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a quick uh, you know, review on a company called Alley Cat Beard Company. Uh, this is a brand new company uh, and if you guys know the owner, you know his name is Gary Lewis. Uh, great guy, I've had great conversations with him and he's uh, just a very, he's a great guy to talk to and uh, I got mad respects for Gary. Uh, I actually became a big fan of his uh, his products uh, when I was actually gifted some of his uh, products from his older company, uh, which no longer exists, it is no more, but it's formerly known as Chesapeake. And uh, that company, I was really disappointed that I did not uh, try their products sooner and uh, I wasn't already applying that into my beard. I really, I, I gotta say, I was blown away by this thing called Beard Vitality. I have crushed this container that I was gifted to me. I still have a little bit more left, which is good, uh, but I'm running out, which is very sad. And uh, I wish that only Alley Cat had something like Beard Vitality, but I think they do. I think they do, and I'm gonna make my, I'll make my, my comments that in a moment. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys just like the price comparison between, um, not, not between the two companies, but actually more uh, from international to you know local. So if you guys are Americans, uh, you guys are gonna be paying for a one ounce beard oil from Alley Cat. You guys are gonna be paying $20.98. For a Canadian or anyone else maybe who is, you know, if you're international shipping, but for me, cause I'm a Canadian, this is going to cost you $25 CAD. This is gonna cost you $25, uh, so keep that in mind. This is for a one ounce uh, beard oil from Alley Cat. If you wanna purchase their beard butter, again, the price is really good, I think, for the Americans. <laughs> you guys got a great price here. For a 2.5 ounce beard butter from Alley Cat, you guys are looking at $22.98, whereas Canadians, we're gonna be paying $28. Uh, this is, I would say, coming from my perspective, uh, it is a little bit more on the higher price range for, uh, you know, for beard product. Uh, you know, beard oil, $25, beard butter, $28. You know, you, you add on the international shipping to it, and it does become a lot. But there are great ways for you to be able to save uh, some money. You guys can use two affiliate codes, uh, and the only two affiliate codes for this company, one is from Dan C. Bearded, which I'll throw in his uh, discount code at the bottom, so you guys can see in the description, and also Ken, the content coach. Uh, you guys can also use his code. Uh, it's great because you're not only supporting uh, two really great um, you know, content creators, but you're also saving yourself some money, and you're also supporting the company by using these affiliate codes. And again, it's a great way for you just to save some money on your end as well and I think those are for 10% off so not a huge you know percentage off but it does help it really does help uh, but that is the price for these products now when we move over to the presentation uh, I honestly first thing I thought of when I looked at you know the the old Chesapeake bottle versus this new uh, uh, alley cat beard bottle is they do look very similar uh, but they do have the same you know I I, I honestly I honestly think that Gary, uh, probably when he was consulting with Dan and some other people, you know, one of the things that probably was brought up was, should we keep these restrictor caps? And yes, they have kept the restrictor caps. From Chesapeake, you have these really, really nice uh, restrictor caps with these little uh, twist off caps here, uh, labeling all around the side. Again, I think the labeling uh, from Chesapeake to Alley Cat, it, the Alley Cat is, I think, a lot nicer than the Chesapeake one. Uh, but you do have, again, that original, uh, you know, uh, restrictor cap, which when you order from them, you actually have to install them yourself. So just be careful, maybe have your spouse help you uh, just put these things in. It's, it, but again, once you have these restrict, restrict, I can't talk. Once you have these restrictor caps in, uh, the oil will not spill out, which is a great um, you know, addition. I personally, I'm becoming a huge fan of restrictor caps. I've reviewed multiple different companies that have them, and I honestly gotta say, I really like it for a lot of different reasons. One, spill control does great. Two, it actually really helps you with your, uh, your amount of beard oil that you are using in your, well, in your beard. Uh, so it really helps you with your, you know, your product limit and uh, uh, you won't get, you know, like the, the from the droppers, you won't, you won't break the plastic or anything like that, uh, or the rubber, I mean. Uh, you won't also have the stem from the glass of the dropper going into your oil. 
Uh, I just find it actually, if anything, it really helps contain the smell a lot better. So I don't know, that's just my personal preference on it. I haven't really thought too much of it, but from most of the companies I've used, I've just really enjoyed using these restrictor caps. Overall though, the, the actual labeling itself, very, very clean, nice to see, uh, very easy to read. And what I really do like about this is that on the front here of the bottle, it actually gives you your scent profile and what the scent is supposed to smell like, which is really great. And when you flip over, you guys will notice that they have the ingredients here. And again, very, very straightforward, especially even to with the beard butter, you got the top right here with your logo, uh, the scent, uh, name and then also the scent profile as well and then you've got your ingredients all the way around so overall uh, I'm pretty impressed with the presentation I think it's I think it's clean I think it's simple uh, but it gets right down to the point of what you want to see on a product you want to see the scent profile you want to see the name of it and you also want to be able to read the ingredients clearly and uh, you know, that, that's the, I think in, in many ways, that's the most important thing. That's what you wanna gain from it. So overall presentation wise, I would say it's, it's, a, it's different from Chesapeake, uh, but at the same time, it has a little bit of that similarity to it. Again, when you look at Chesapeake's Beard Butter, it's the same, you've got the top on the front here with the logo, uh, you've got the actual, you know, what they used to have was the CBG, and they just said Beard Butter on there, or Beard Butter. Uh, it didn't actually have the, the, the scent profile uh, on it. So again, that's a, that's a big difference in comparison to what you see here with Alley Cat. You got, you know, for example, like it says Retro, but then it has here, it has a scent profile. It's Tonka, Oud, and Vanilla. If you looked at, you know, Chesapeake, it didn't have that. It just said Beard Butter and Calvary. Also, didn't notice this and just until now, but the Beard Butter from, uh, from Chesapeake was two ounces. You're getting 0.5 ounce more when you use uh, the Alley Cat Beard Butter. So that is really, really great. Now that was the presentation, but now let's move on to the next thing, and that is going to be the scent profile. So the scent profiles that I have here from uh, from Alley Cat, that's what I wanna really focus on right now. The scent profiles I have from Alley Cat is I've got Van Winkle, and this is Iced Out Vanilla Mint. So I'm a huge fan already of this. Uh, I knew it was gonna smell good as soon as I tried it, and uh, I was not disappointed at all. My wife and I, we smell all these together when we got the package, and we both really, really like this one. I like that mint smell to it. I do also like that, you know, that iced out vanilla smell. Oh, that smells so good. Really, really like that in beard. The second one that I have here is the uh, the second beard oil, and it's called Fizz 182, and I am a huge fan of this one. I knew I was gonna like this one uh, as soon as I saw it, and right away when I, when I smelt this, because it's citrus, peach, and fizz bomb, the first thing that I thought of was this really does smell similar to some degree, uh, to Beard Octane's uh, Ginger Jamboree. Now, obviously, the difference between Ginger Jamboree and you know Fizz 182 is actually it, you do pick up on the carbonation smell because really, realistically, that is what this smells like. It does. It's got that carbonation smell to it. But in Ginger Jamboree, obviously, it's ginger ale. That's the smell you pick up on. Whereas this one, this is the citrus peach, and this smells fantastic. If you were to ask me which one is my favorite between the two, I could not tell you, but I really do like this. It's got a really nice sweet smell to it. And uh, you know, when we had to wear masks, this was perfect. It would just, you know, your nostrils would just fill up uh, with, with Fizz 182. But this is a really, really nice smelling beard oil. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this one. I, I really do like these two, they're fantastic. And then for the beard butter, I've, I'm using the, uh, the Retro. And this one is Tonka Oud Vanilla. And this right here is a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Let me just take a quick whiff of it just to... Yeah, you, you do pick up a little bit on like the, some of like the natural ingredients to it. Maybe it's the Tonka, maybe it's the Oud, I'm not really too sure. Uh, but I do like this, actually, if anything, I think I pick up a little bit on that vanilla, right? There's, there's some good undertones for it. So that's really nice. It, it honestly has a very, very nice smell to it. Uh, a very great uh, smell to go, you know, if you want to put this in before you go to sleep, this is a really great beard butter to use before you go to bed. It's a really, really nice thing. So those are the scent profiles that I have for, uh, for, for Alley Cat. What I had for Chesapeake was I had Poe, I had Calvary, 
and that was it. So I had Po for uh, for beard, uh, sorry, I had for beard vitality and a beard oil, and then I had Calvary for the beard butter and for the beard oil. And uh, overall, I, I I I never really had any like super negative responses towards the Chesapeake, uh, you know, uh, sense. If anything, I really did feel like they had a really strong spice, really strong kick, uh, you know, especially even going to sleep and using the beard butter or the, the beard vitality. They are very strong scents to go to sleep with. Um, but I, overall, I was, I, I didn't mind them. Uh, they, if anything, it kind of had, yeah, it was just like that, that spicy smell. So I can't really put my finger on it, but you guys can see the scent profiles here for, 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 for Alley Cat and here for uh, for for Chesapeake, and you guys can see there's a, there's a huge difference between the two of these scent profiles, and I really like that. I really do. But now let's talk about the final thing that's probably the most important out of all of this, and that is the feel and beard experience. So overall, my feel my 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 sh my my thoughts on the feel and beard was that I really enjoyed this beard oil. Uh, they've got a you know, uh, Gary's got a ton of different ingredients in here. Some that, you know, honestly, I've never really seen. I, I, I'm very familiar with something like black seed oil, which I have found to be really great for my beard and for my skin as well. And I've reviewed other companies that use black seed oil, which is really great. But you've got other things like uh, squalilian oil, uh, soursop oil, yangu oil, shea nut oil. Hey, I know that one. Uh, you got prac sorry, Prakaxi oil, uh, Pakui oil, uh, Subaki oil, and then you've got, you know, the proprietary, <laughs> I can't say that word. Anyway, so those are some, like, those are some hard ingredients to read, and you guys can see, I'll throw up a little bit of some fun facts here for you guys, so you guys can see the benefits of using it. Um, but then when you move over to the, um, you know, for the, for the beard butter, uh, you got, obviously you have shea butter, which is important, and then you got uh, mamurma, Mamurmamu butter. <laughs> I'm not gonna say any of these, but you guys can see like on the side here, these are different ingredients that I'm not so, so familiar with. And, uh, but they overall, they do provide a really, really great feel and beard experience. Uh, in comparison between the beard oil uh, from, uh, from Cal uh, I was gonna say Calvary, uh, in comparison from, you know, Chesapeake to Alley Cat, uh, in my opinion, I found that Alley Cat was right here and Chesapeake was right about here. Like they were so close together in the feel and beard experience for me. Uh, but I gotta say the beard butter from Alley Cat surpasses the beard butter and the beard vitality from Chesapeake. If anything, what I really think is I think uh, what Gary did was he took beard vitality and he took beard butter and he took those two things and put them together and created this beard butter that we are using now from Alley Cat. It is a very, very, um, it's kind of got a little bit of like a grainy kind of texture to it, which was a little bit odd to me at first, but overall it's got a good melting property to it. It's smooth, um, it's very easy to apply into beard. And because I haven't put any beard butter in, I wanna show you guys just how, you know, my beard's feeling not super dry, but it's getting to that point where I, I need to add some product to it. So overall, like, I just wanna show you guys what this looks like. So it's easy to scoop out. I know this might seem gross for some people, like I don't like actually seeing people do this and I can kind of agree with you on that because <laughs> sometimes fingers are gross but this beard butter you just take it into your hand and you guys can already see it's beginning to melt already like and it, and it has a little bit of like a grainy kind of texture to it but it's melting already you guys can see it's got a nice nice you know melting uh, I don't even know what they want to even use. I don't know what the word is they would even use to describe it. But it's a really, it's it's really nice, uh, and it melts super quick. And then you just apply this to your beard. And I gotta say, man, my beard feels so good right now. It feels fantastic. And again, the the thing that I've noticed about this beard butter, when I was comparing, you know, both the you know, from 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 Chesapeake, uh, you know, to uh, to Alley Cat, I noticed from the beard butter from uh, from Chesapeake. One of the things that I noticed right away, and it does have a little bit extra, you know, uh, some residue on there. And again, what you can do is you can simply just take this. If you have a bald head like myself, rub it into your scalp. It's good for you. If you've got dry elbows, rub it into your dry elbows. 
if you've got you know dry toes all that kind of stuff throw that in there and again it makes makes your head smell good <laughs> but what i've noticed too from looking at chesapeake and looking at uh from alley cat uh, one of the things I noticed from 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 uh, Chesapeake was that the beard butter was actually uh, it was pretty thick, uh, so you really did have to you know and it melted really nice. We had to like it, it just had a little bit more of a body to it, whereas I find with with Alley Cat it's a lot lighter. Uh, it's uh, it's a very very uh, soothing feeling when you can just put your finger into some light butter uh, and rub it through your hands and it's already melted like that. I found that you know, in comparison to Vitality, because it seemed a little bit lighter and, and it, it had a little bit more of like a whipped kind of feel to it. I know, it, I know, it wasn't whipped butter, um, but it had a little bit more of like it would just it would just fall everywhere. So I, when I was putting in, you know, like Vitality, um, I found that it broke way too easily, and so I have you know products sitting on my desk or. So unfortunately, some of it actually fell on the floor, so I had to clean that up. Uh, whereas the Whereas the beard butter from uh, from Alley Cat, it, it stays composed, uh, it's light, but it's got a nice body to it. And again, once you start to you know work this thing through your hands, it melts so quickly. And I found that you know when I would put you know when I would wake up in the morning, and again I'm gonna wake up in the morning and my beard's gonna feel so soft. And I'm talking like it's gonna feel hydrated. My skin underneath is gonna feel fantastic. And you know my beard hair. Uh, sometimes I actually feel guilty if I have a shower that day because this beard feels so fantastic as I put in this beard butter. Uh, would I say that I like? You know, would I recommend them to anybody? Absolutely. I really do think that Alley Cat has got a, a, a large variety of different scents to choose from, but the experience, the overall experience with the beard oil and the beard butter, I haven't even tried any of like their beard wash or conditioner. I would love to try some at some point because uh, I've only heard really good things about it. But man, I think Gary Lewis is a genius for the products that he creates. He's really focused on hydrating your beard with the, with the ingredients that he chooses. The way that he, you know, composes all this together, uh, you know, for the beard oil, um, you know, he's got a great balance of scents. Not one scent is overpowering the other. Uh, it's just a really, really nice balance of, you know, of scent profiles. And again, the carrier oils that he chooses for his, for his beard oil, fantastic stuff. And again, this beard butter, uh, it is something else, man. I gotta say, it is something else. So overall, my comparison from you know from from Chesapeake uh, to Alley Cat, I gotta say uh, there are huge improvements uh, from from you know in, in Alley Cat, from Gary's old company to his new one. You can really see that this man has taken years of you know of of trial and error with his previous company, started a brand new one, and has added his own his own flair to it and has really created something super special for us to enjoy. So if you're a huge fan of, you know, if you were a huge fan of Chesapeake, I, I will guarantee that you will be a, a bigger fan of Alley Cat. And so without further ado guys, that is all I have to say about Alley Cat Beard Company. And uh, one thing I will say is that I really do appreciate um, that you know Gary has this rock star, you know, punk vibe to his company as a drummer, Having something like Fizz 182 totally reminded me of Travis Barker from Blink 182. Uh, it just reminded me of like when I was a teenager, uh, that Fizz 182 really reminded me of as a teenager where we'd be listening to Blink 182, walking home from school, drinking some, you know, something, you know, carbonated or whatever, and uh, and just and just enjoying, uh, you know, the, enjoying the walk. And really, I really do enjoy this, this scent profile. It really brought some great memories for me as a drummer, uh, but also too, just brought me back some good memories. So honestly, that is it. That's all I have to say though about uh, from Alley Cat Beard Company. So go and try them out. If you haven't already, go ahead and do so. And if you have, please throw your comments in the comment section below. Give us your thoughts. What did you like about this company? What are you liking about them? Or if you didn't really have a great experience, please be respectful, but throw them in the comment section below so the owners can see what you have to say. Let's let the people speak about this. Uh, but overall, that is it for me. So guys and gals, thank you so very much for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want, throw in your favorite. Uh, my question is, is what is your favorite punk rock band? Uh, what is your favorite band, actually, if anything? If you don't like punk rock, that's totally fine. What's your favorite band that you've ever listened to? And uh, throw that in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, we will see you 
in the next review. Take care, God bless, and as always, guys, keep your stick on the ice and treat your beard to something nice. And we'll see you in the next review. Cheers, guys.